Hello friends, my lips are so chapped. I think it's because it's becoming like winter time, even though we had a heat wave this week in California. I'm heading to Raising Cane's. I didn't eat yet, so I wanted to save my dinner for Raising Cane's because I don't know if you guys know, but you can get the Raising Cane's dipping sauce in a extra large soda cup. I'm gonna go and see if it's true. If you guys don't know the story behind Raising Cane's and how the business started, you definitely should look it up. It is such a sweet story. But if you ever go inside to order the food, they have like a huge poster or like a plaque that like explains the story of how the company got started. And it's like the cutest story ever. Also, Raising Cane's gives back to their community. I believe they have a foundation that they give back to. And it's just so, so sweet. I love this place. And they also just make really good crispy chicken. Yeah. I have a quick question. Can I pay for the three people behind me? Is that possible or complicated for you? I don't want to make life hard. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. They decided to give you a free lemonade. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and then the next order we're going to do is for Chris, 1328. Okay, perfect. Do you want the straw for the cane sauce or you're good? Oh no, do so. people suck on the cane sauce? <laughs> is that a thing? And is that all the crisps you want to do or you want to do one more? The third one. The third one? Yeah. Okay, and I'll decide. Okay, perfect. Perfect, thank you so much. Have, have a good, good day. day. Thank you. They don't have a tip jar. Okay, now this is the part where I drive as fast as I can and run away because it is so awkward. So I'm just gonna start running away and they can never find me. I literally, you guys, I can't. It's. I'm like, uh-uh. Random act of kindness on a Monday is my thing. I love it. I do it every single week, but I refuse <laughs> to like ever come like face to face. I think it's the introvert in me. Okay, where should we park? I think I lost them. They're never gonna find me, never. Where should we park so we can eat our Raisin Canes? There's a drive-thru here for Coffee Bean. Yeah. We have the chicken. What do I do with the sauce after, friends? Mmm. The lemonade at Raisin Cane's I think is better than Chick-fil-A. Now that I'm like drinking it, I remember. Ooh. Okay, that's so much sauce. I do not need that much sauce. Mmm. 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 Wow. I love their toast. Their toast is like literally, it's so good. It reminds me, oh my God. I'm watching this guy in a truck park. That's not even a truck, it's like a moving van. Their toast reminds me of this like toast that we used to eat in school. Do you guys remember? Oh my God, this is so awkward. There's literally a giant like Penske moving van right in front of me and they're literally looking at me, film myself eating in the car. Uh, this is how I pay my bills. I always see people, by the way, they get their toast and then they get the chicken. I mean, when you guys go here, you definitely can order like a chicken sandwich. They have those, but if you don't want to commit, you can make a little sandwich. I'm going to dip it in my sauce. I have my sauce on the side here oh my god mm. oh my god it's so good what if we add like a fry mm. you know what i need though like hot sauce right now and honey next time i'm gonna ask for more toast and then put my chicken in because that's bomb I'm do it again i'm at home goods right now and i found these little gift tags and you guys it's literally Cooper, Casper, Rocky, and Riley. Isn't that so cute? I feel like it was meant to be. Okay, so there's like a few. I think I might get a few. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. It just happens to be the four dogs. Hey it looks just like you, Bubs. Hi. Vivi, look. What's up? So you know how like during Christmas, huh? when people give each other gifts, they put like name tags on them? Yeah. I found these name tags and I thought it was meant to be. Oh my gosh. Isn't it like a big coincidence? Wait, that's so crazy. I saw it at Home Goods and I was like, wait, those are our four dogs. Wait, that is actually so wild. Do you think it's weird? Okay, so first I was like, oh my god, it's Koopy. And then I was like, wait, that's Casper. That looks exactly and like, hold on, let me see if I can find a picture. And then I was like, babe, and then out of nowhere there's an Old English Sheepdog? Isn't that weird? That is a little weird. Oh my goodness, look, Koopy, that's you, baby. Oh my goodness, this is so weird. So I got the dog tags. Carlos says that this is so rare to like pretty much ever find all four of our dogs. So you, like Cooper's easy to find places because he's a Kapapoo and they're pretty popular. And then Old Man's a Schnauzer mini and Schnauzers are easy. And then Riley is like 
not hard, but not easy. Like he's in the middle, but it's so rare for us to find like a dog drawing that looks like Casper. So I got two of them. I'm gonna save one because that's just who I am. And then I'll probably end up like using this, but not a lot of it, just like a little bit of it. And then I also grabbed these. These I thought were so cute. They were also dog themed. They have little dogs in like cars and they're so freaking adorable. Like look at this one. Look at that little guy. Oh my goodness. I love these. They're so cute. I found these at Home Goods. Home Goods right now I feel like it's starting to have Christmas stuff, but if you guys wait like I think two more weeks, it's about to be litty titty. I went to Ulta as well, but I got a Christmas tree skirt. I saw this and I was like, oh my god, I've been looking for something like this for the last few years, but it's really pretty. Oh my goodness. Hang on, let me put you guys down. Let me show you what I got. So this year I'm thinking about doing the snow. You guys know how we have like two big Christmas trees. We have like the, the regular green one and then we have the one with snow on it. So I'm thinking about this year putting the snow one in the living room and doing a lot of like white just to give like a snow winter Christmas vibe. And then I don't think I'm gonna, oh, I don't know. I might go buy a small Christmas tree and put it in my office. And then I want another Christmas tree in the primary bedroom, but I'll save that for the holiday decorating video. We're not there quite yet. I usually start decorating the middle of November just so when my in-laws are here for Thanksgiving, it feels very festive and cozy. But I got this skirt and I think it's so beautiful. It looks like this. If you guys don't know what a Christmas tree skirt is, it's basically this piece of fabric that goes at the bottom of the Christmas tree so it covers the base of the Christmas tree. So you can make it look fuller and then you can put presents around it. But I got this one and I love it because it's this knitted material. And I also love the color as well. But you can also use the other side which is more of like a Sherpa blanket material. So you can pick and choose which side you want to use. Yeah, I found this at Home Goods for, it's pretty big. It's 52 inches and it was $35. So it was a really good deal for the size and our Christmas trees are really really big so I think this will work out perfectly. I also went to Ulta and I am so excited about this. So originally I went on the elfcosmetics.com website last week and I bought their brand new lip oils. I love lip oils and apparently these are like a great affordable dupe for like the Dior lip oils. I actually have the Dior lip oils so I'm going to compare them. I ended up going to Ulta and when I was online it said that my Ulta didn't have it in store but they ended up having it. These are the new elf cosmetics lip oils. Aren't they so pretty? They're supposed to be really hydrating, super shiny, and super comfortable, not sticky on the lips. And people are comparing them to the Dior lip oils, which are way more expensive because these are the elf ones and they're only $8, you guys. So I grabbed all the colors that I could get. I got a few off their website and then I ended up grabbing these at the store. And then I also grabbed these two lip products for the holidays from Maybelline. These are really pretty. They have this kind of like a satin finish, very shiny, but it doesn't come off. So I think these are gonna be really good to test for the holidays because during Thanksgiving, we eat so much food and a lot of us are like dolled up. So I wanna test to see if these will stay on, but I'm gonna start testing that soon because it's about to be November. And then I also got this like random lip gloss from Essence. Essence is a really good brand. Everything's really affordable. And then I also got a little e.l.f. squeeze me lip balm. I wanted to try this out too. And then the reason I went to Ulta was actually for this. This is a new product from Maybelline and it's supposed to basically make your brows fluff and give them a tint and it's supposed to be really easy to work with. It's called the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Styling Gel. So it's a gel, it's supposed to stay on for 36 hours. I got it in black brown and you're supposed to like brush it through your fine brow hair, which you guys know I have pretty fine eyebrows and it's supposed to look good. So I think I'm gonna test this out. I think I might do like a TikTok or an Instagram reel, but we'll see. I'm really happy that they have the e.l.f. though. A lot of it was sold out, so I was very grateful I could get my hands on the last three colors. Okay, you guys. We emptied the pasta out. That's why there's a line here, because that's where the boiling water was. I'm going to start with 
my oil. Do that much oil. And then we're gonna start with our sausages. I put the curtain down so you guys can see the pot a little bit better. I'm gonna start with the sausage, chopped up. Bring this to a nice crispy outside, cooked on the inside. I highly recommend these sausages. They're so good, friends. Okay, let that sit for a little bit. We want them nice, cooked, and crispy. And I like these because they have mozzarella on the inside, so the mozzarella melts with every single bite. Like, this is the definition of Bon Appetit. Okay, we'll let that go. This is kind of optional, but I have some chopped up garlic that I'm adding in today. This is completely optional. You don't have to do it if you don't like garlic. It adds a nice little garlic flavoring to it and just some flavor. I'm gonna go in with some of my chicken broth. Yes, please, baby, thank you. Chicken broth going in, and then we have spinach going in right after. So the thing with spinach is, it looks like it's a lot, but it kind of shrinks down with the heat, so don't worry about it. This is a great way to get a little bit of greens in. If maybe your kids have trouble eating greens, they won't even taste it, I promise. And you can do as much or as little spinach. I really also like this dish because of the color, so we have the green going on, and then once the tomatoes go in, we have the red, and then once the pasta goes in, we have the yellow. So it's a really pretty, fresh dish you can serve when you have guests over, and the chicken broth just really makes the spinach, the actual spinach taste go away. But you see how quickly the size has decreased? In goes our pasta. I like my pasta al dente on the chewy side. Look at all that color. And then we get our can of tomato and pour all of that in. So beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and season. I have one tablespoon of chicken bouillon. This is the chicken bouillon that kind of looks like little bits. I like this more than the powder version. We're gonna do two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. We're gonna do some red pepper flakes. This adds a little bit of a kick, so if you don't want it to be a little kicky, a little spicy, don't add this, but we love a little kick in this house. We're gonna go in with white pepper. I would do black pepper, but I don't have any, so we're gonna do white pepper. A Little bit of garlic powder. Not too much, because we already have the garlic, the fresh garlic that went in, and then a little bit of basil. And then our mozzarella. Not too much. And then a little bit of Parmesan cheese. At this point, you can turn the heat off. Beautiful. Let's taste test. Oh my goodness, you guys. It looks amazing. Look at that, look at all the colors. We have the red, the yellow, and the green. You're gonna blow people away with this dish and it's so quick, easy, and simple to make. Wow, I am blown away. Every single time I make this, I'm blown away. I wanted to show you guys what we're having for dessert tonight to tie up today's meals. I ordered Rita's. I'm so, so excited. Rita's is something that reminds me of my hometown. Okay, every time I see a Rita's, I instantly think of York County, Pennsylvania. There used to be a Rita's, I believe it, oh, I don't even remember the streets anymore because it's been so long. It's been like 11 or 12 years since I've been back. Actually not been back, but since I lived there. Uh, is it called Market Street? Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Anyways, it used there used to be an Old Navy right next to it. I don't know if the Old Navy is still there. There used to be a Rita's and my brother would take me every summer and it was like a memory that I had. I absolutely loved Rita's and now I live by a Rita's and it, it just makes me really excited. Rita's today had Dr. Pepper, which I've never tried Dr. Pepper before. Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know what Rita's is, it's an Italian ice cream place and they have custard ice cream, but they're known, I can't open this thing, but they're known for having these custard ice cups. So the bottom is ice and at the top is their delicious vanilla custard. They also have like a mixture and then they have chocolate, but the vanilla is my favorite. And so you choose your ice for the bottom and then they put the custard on top. Sometimes they'll even put the custard at the bottom, ice, and then more custard. So that one's Dr. Pepper. This one I believe is dark cherry. This one is pear. And this is their size small. They go way bigger. And then this is gummy bear, which I've never tried gummy bear before. Oh my God, it has gummy bears in it. 
Mmm. Ooh, that tastes like my childhood. That's really good. Carlos said I can try every single flavor. This is pear. Mmm, that's good too. And then this is cherry. Mmm. Dark cherry is really good. And then this is Dr. Pepper. I love Dr. Pepper. And this tastes not really Dr. Pepper, but it's still very good. This one isn't as sweet, which I like. I used to do something, and I'm gonna show you now. I don't use I don't do it all the time because it's it's very sugary, but I'm gonna show you what I used to do when I was little. I'm gonna put the gummy bear away. I'm gonna keep the cherry. I'm going to put the pear away. Carlos and I literally just share all this. So I'm gonna get the cherry and I have a little bowl. I'm gonna scoop the custard and the, the cherry part out. <gasps> they did put, they put custard at the bottom of the cup too. Awesome. I think you can ask for it actually. And then you get condensed milk and you drizzle it on top. The reason that I remember this dessert is because I went to Nobu. If you guys know, like Nobu is that like really expensive sushi house, sushi restaurant, and they have this dessert and it's ice. It's shaped ice with custard at the top and they drizzle condensed milk on top. I was trying to avoid not to open it all the way, but I think I have to. And this is my favorite condensed milk. I feel like everyone in Asia uses this. The one with the very beautiful old man in the front. Oh my God, and you guys, I love condensed milk. I just want to let you guys know that. It's like my so you want to get a little bit of the condensed milk and you want to drizzle it on top. Ooh, a little bit of the condensed milk, the custard and the ice. Dude, it's so much sugar, so don't eat it all the time, but it is such a good treat once in a while. Okay, bye for real this time. I hope you have a great night. I love you. Time to juice for the next few days. We're gonna go into our little cabinet here and grab our apples, our pear, and our cucumbers. I have everything here, and then the celery and stuff is up here. This is our fridge. Welcome to our fridge. I would say this fridge is pretty realistic. It looks like people live in this house, you know? I just literally collect everything and wash it in here. So let me collect everything. I have all the veggies washed here. We have celery, green apple, cucumbers. I love eating the Persian Mexican cucumbers, like the mini ones, because they're crunchier. But to juice, you want the big cucumbers. They have all of the hydration you need. And some carrots. I'm trying to finish up these carrots. If we didn't have the carrots, it would be completely green. But I know once we juice the carrots, it'll change the color a little bit. And then we also have lemon. In. These are scraps and then cabbage. I know it sounds so gross, but if you guys didn't know, cabbage juice actually will repair the lining of your stomach. So if you guys have stomach lining issues or anything dealing with your stomach, cabbage juice is actually the best. Google it, research it yourself. You will find that cabbage juice is the best. So we're adding our cabbage into our juice as well. Another thing I learned is potatoes. Potatoes are also really good for your stomach lining. People will cut potatoes up and soak them in boiling water and then drink that water and it like repairs your stomach. Had no idea potatoes and cabbage shoes did all that. It will taste good only because the apples are in it. Green apples are really good. I know some people will add, what else? Did, I can't remember what else they add, but so far we've been doing this and we like this the most. This is literally all I wanted for my 30th birthday was this juicer. It was quite an investment. I will let you guys know now it is expensive. Expensive, okay, it is probably one of the most expensive juicers I've ever seen We've been really into juicing lately and we had a juicer I don't know if you guys watched the previous vlog where I started juicing a little bit that juicer was Good, but it was like 50 bucks and it did the job But it was so loud and everything would just like clump up and get stuck and then also the cleaning process Was just horrible and it made a mess So I found this juicer on TikTok. if you guys follow juicing recipes on TikTok, then you probably already know about this. This is the Nama Juicer J2. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I got the white one. I was gonna buy the black, but I thought the white one was cuter. The reason that I love this is because one, it comes in this huge container up here. So this entire container, as you guys can see, it's pretty big. You basically cut up all of the fruits and veggies that you want. You pop it in here, you close the lid, and you just let it do its thing. It's amazing, it's so easy to use, it's not complicated at all, and it is so quiet, and you can just walk away, do whatever you gotta do. If you have kids, don't worry. If they happen to like, I don't know, put their hands in here or 
actually no, they wouldn't put their hands in here. If they happen to open this lid, then the whole thing will stop. So that's one of the safety factors. They could put their hands in here actually. Well, just a precaution. If you do have little toddlers by this, there is a hole at the top here. I would probably be very careful with that because you just never know kids. I shouldn't say that they probably would never because you just never know. Just be careful with your kids because they could put their hands in here. But there is a hole if you want to add more fruit and then there is a stick if you want to push it down. I haven't felt the need to push anything down just because this thing does its own thing. And then on the right side, all the scraps come out of here and then here is all of the juice that is gonna come out. And I love this because it suctions when it closes, so there's no mess. And like I said, it's just really, really quiet. The cool thing is you can also make smoothies with this machine and you can also make sorbet. So that's really, really cool. So I'm gonna plug this in. It's so easy to use. One of the best things I've honestly ever found online. Also, when I was on TikTok, I was like looking at multiple videos and sometimes they'll have like a discount code in their caption. So I got, 10% off, I think. Some of the discount codes are like 10% off. Some of them are like $10 off. Some of them were like $55 off. So you have to kind of search around and look. And it also comes with these containers. So this is for the juice side. And then this is for all of like the scraps and stuff. This goes on the side, basically open. And look at all the pieces, you guys. You don't have to cut them into small pieces. You can leave them pretty big. Isn't that cool? So you wanna start with things that are a little bit softer. So obviously cucumbers, those will break down really easily. You wanna do like leafy things. And then you wanna do the hard things at the top. I'm gonna start with all of my cucumbers. You can do a mixture of things if you want. That's the cool part about this whole thing. I'm gonna add some cabbage in. I don't know if you saw, but it fits a lot. I just cut these too big. There we go. I mean, that's pretty big, you guys. Look at that. And then you just close the lid. It clicks. You see that hole here? Just be careful with that if you have like kids and they like to juice with you. I washed all the veggies and stuff, so now it's easy to just pop in and do its thing. This, this does this thing. And then this is the other side. So the other side is juicing where all your juice is gonna come out. And then this is all of like the extra stuff. All the fiber is in here to be honest with you. This is like the good stuff too. I can show you in a little bit how to do this or share with you. We're gonna do whole pieces of apples next. Celery, pear, carrots. I'm just gonna put all of this in. The next thing I'm gonna do another day is we can try to make smoothies and sorbet. I haven't done that yet. But what I was trying to say is all of this stuff that comes out, what you can do is you can lay it out on a baking sheet, bake it, and it becomes hard, and then you can blend that and it becomes a powder. Because this is still good. This is not like bad stuff or anything. It's just like the fiber part. So don't think that this is trash. You can, like I said, bake it, blend it again, it becomes a powder, and you can use that powder over your oatmeal Milk, milk, meal, oat milk. What is that thing you eat babe, in the morning? The what? Oat meal. No, I can't say it. What's that thing you eat in the morning? Oatmeal? Yeah. Oh my God. I was having a brain fart. You can put it over that. If you have acai bowls in the morning, you can put the powder over that. If you are blending fruits and veggies that are safe for your dogs, Make sure you talk to your vet and do your research. But if you're blending veggies and fruits that are safe for your dogs to eat, you can also take these, blend it up, put it, make it into a powder and put it on, in your dog's food. Because like, for example, we feed our dogs apples and cucumbers. And so if we were just doing an apple and cucumber juice, instead of throwing away the scraps, we would bake it, blend it, and we can put it into their meals as well. So that is such a great way to use up every single thing because a lot a lot of people throw this away and I promise you, you shouldn't throw it away because this is still really good stuff. Also, I believe that if you're looking for a high amount of fiber, it's better to eat the veggies than juice it. But if you're someone who doesn't love eating veggies and fruits, juicing is a really delicious, fun way. And every time we juice, it lasts for three days. I think we've gone to four and four might be the maximum, but three days seems to be pretty good. So I'm just gonna continue this. This is pretty full. And I love it because I can just walk away. that that was so quick the last juicer i had to like stand here and push everything down but we just went through that in like maybe five minutes okay so this is full get all that juice 
It's so satisfying, you guys, to do this. And let me show you, there is no mess. My other juicer, they didn't have this closing cap. And when I would like move this out of the way to like transfer it to another container, juice would be like everywhere. So I got eight cups of the juice. I bought these containers on Amazon. If you go on Amazon and type in juicing containers, there are plastic and glass ones. I like the glass ones. I got these, yeah, yeah, I like, Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. I got these on Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. I think these are 18 ounces. They come in multiple sizes. You can do 12 ounces, 16 ounces, 18 ounces. And Carlos drinks his whole thing in the morning and that's his breakfast because it keeps him pretty full. Also, if you drink your juice on an empty stomach, it absorbs into your body a little bit better. And I got this little funnel thingy at Ikea. I think it was like a few bucks, maybe a dollar. Super cheap. You can also get it at the Dollar Tree. Honestly, these are easy to find. And it just makes it easy to pour the juice in and I think this will make probably three four five of these containers I think it should be a good amount whenever you put carrots in it makes the color look poopy but without carrots it would have been a beautiful green color and I like it this way because in the morning Carlos can just grab one to go. You can also make it and put it in a big container and every morning you can pour it out, but I like this way more. So then here are all the containers and then you leave it in your fridge. I think we're gonna actually drink this one right now. So you can leave it in your fridge. You can do multiple, you can do another four. This will last us four days. Four is okay. Three I feel like is good, but four is okay. It's not the end of the world if we do four days. But I think anything past four, I. I don't love. I'm gonna drink this one now. I was showing you guys how to do it and I got carried away and didn't realize. I also wanna share that it came with these books. The packaging is so nice. The blender, or not the blender, blender, the juicer came packaged like a MacBook from Apple. It was really, really bougie. This is a recipe book. If you guys have TikTok, go on TikTok and type in Nama J2 juicer recipes and you're gonna get so many recipes on TikTok. However, it does come with a recipe book. Like this one is for like the morning dew, which has cucumbers. This one has like kiwi and it has like directions and everything. So there's like a bunch of recipes, I believe. 57 recipes and in the back, there's a produce preparation guide for you. How to prepare fruits and veggies. So like if you don't know how to prepare cucumbers, pomegranate, if you want to juice that. There's herbs and spices. Let's see, there's produce substitution. Like if you don't have apples, you can use pear and all of that good stuff. Yeah, so this is very helpful. I really like the design of it as well. Cheers, everyone. I added ice because you guys know me. I love ice. Mm. What'd you do to it? I didn't do anything. Are you poisoning me? Baby. Well, if I don't wake up, now I know. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean this thing. First, we have some extra juice left over. So let me open this up real quick. So this one you can just put aside. Then there's a lock and unlock thing here. You twist it. There oh, it came go. out pretty easily this time. Yeah, last time it was, I think all the juice like suctioned it up. So while Carlos is rinsing that, you can get this. The cool thing about this is this is where all of the scraps came out of. So you can actually pull this down and you can clean it out. Isn't that cool? You can actually clean all of the gunk out of there. So that comes out. This comes out too. Yep, that comes out. You have three separate pieces. Basically. And you just wash all those. Yeah. Easy cleanup, just comes out. And I like that this part comes out too because you really can clean inside of here. Hello, what time is it? It's only seven o'clock. We don't do dinner until eight o'clock. So we have one more hour, okay? Oh my goodness gracious. Hi Georgie. You guys are getting groomed uh, this week. Just in time for Thea. That's hot. Hello, my loves. We are heading to Home Goods. I just parked here for a little bit. We're gonna head to Home Goods. The four boys are getting groomed right now. Carlos is not. <laughs> just kidding. 
Cooper, Casper, Brocky, and Riley are getting groomed right now. Their groomer is at the house, and I went to run a quick errand. I had to film something, and Home Goods is right here. So I was gonna go to Target because the mission right now is we are going to make our groomer a little Halloween basket. I believe people are calling it a boo basket. Yeah, I'm gonna make her a little Halloween basket because I'm honestly so grateful for her. She grooms all four of the boys, so we are going to give her a little Halloween basket because I don't think I'm gonna see her until I don't even remember, but I'm not gonna see her until after Halloween. So I think this would be like the good time right now. I was gonna go to Target, but I thought maybe we'll find more stuff at Home Goods. Plus, Target is like really expensive, and I wanna make her a really good basket. And I think Home Goods the other day when I went, I saw some really cute stuff. I have some stuff at home for her already, but I wanted to get a cute basket and then see if they have some cute stuff here too. We are, should we go to, oh, let's, oh no. No, I'll just go here. I can't make up my mind. I'm all over the place today, you guys. Stress level is high. Should really bring my sunglasses. Oh my God, what a great parking job. <sighs> what a idiot. I wish I had a piece of paper right now so I can put it on this car and be like, nice parking job, dipsh**. You guys have to see this. I'm gonna, let me, let me park and then get out of the car and show you this parking job. I hate people that are inconsiderate of other people. I kind of just want to sit there and wait for whoever parks there and just scream at them. Okay, sorry. We're good, we're good, we're good. I feel like right now it's like too early to shop for Christmas stuff because once it hits like November, they're gonna bring out all the Christmas decor. Like I was just here a few days ago and now they just brought even more out, you guys. Like how cute are these stockings? And look, last time I was here, they only had like five Christmas tree skirts and they just got like a few more. Holy sh Oh my God, these are so cute. I kind of want to do stockings in my primary bedroom as well as the living room. These are adorable. I think this is always a good idea for like a gift basket, but it's Christmas theme. And I'm trying to do a, like a Halloween theme right now. So I don't think I can do these. I wonder if they still have Halloween stuff left over. I think this is always a good idea to get like a little tumbler cup because she is a mobile groomer so she's always traveling places and this can keep a th keep her drinks cold this has dogs on it but it's christmas did they get rid of all the halloween stuff like it's not even november yet people all i see is christmas carlos is going to kill me but look at this big christmas tree oh my god riley would love this but then look i, I also saw these presents these are so cute oh my goodness Oh, but I feel like Riley would rip through this bow in five seconds. But this Christmas tree is so cute. Okay, we are in basket galore. They have some really cute baskets here. Oh, this is really cute. I like that shape. Nothing too big. We're looking for like a nice, small basket. Oh, that might be the only one, friends. Should we do a square? How much is this? $7. How much is this? $10. Okay, $7 it is. The other day, I bought those toys for the dogs. But look, I found a bigger one for Riley. I'm gonna get this for Riley George. These are so cute. Did you guys have a groom day? Riley George, did you have a groom day? Did you get a bath too? Yeah? Casper, you got a bath? Riley George got a bath? Koofy? Did Koofy get a bath? Koofy got a bath? Cause you're such a good boy. Oh my goodness, you're getting so fluffy for Christmas. Oh my goodness. Waiting for old man. Old man's getting the bath right now. Oh baby, you look so beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. Carlos and I were unboxing and Poppy sent over all of their flavors for us. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Poppy. We have one of my favorites cherry limeade and then we have raspberry rose let's see the orange one is carlos's favorite he loves this one um let's see and then we have ginger lime we have grape we have classic cola root beer oh my goodness so many different flavors thank you so much poppy we have to put this in the fridge i also want to share that the boys got new water bowls I want to link these down below for you guys because I think they're really good. And if you have dogs at your house, you're going to love these. But um, these are the water bowls. Riley's drinking his water. But they're, um, I believe it can hold up to 8 liters. 
of water, which is really cool. And the more that your dog drinks, the water will come out the bottom and you just have to refill the top of it. So that's a really good perk because we had like um, a regular water bowl and we would have to refill it all the time and our four boys drink so much water. I also have a little mat there to catch all the water that splatters everywhere. I also got the mat on Amazon, so I'll link the water container and the water mat on Amazon. And then you can lift up the tray easily to clean. This is what they look like. And they're kind of cute. Like they're not like too ugly. So we decided to like move, oh, my dog has to go. I decided to move both of them over here. I just let the boys potty, but I wanted to show you because I took the top off. And if you just lift this, you easily can go and wash this um, and clean it out and then just put it back. And then you just put this on top. It's so easy. Hi friends, I'm getting ready for bed. I just cleaned the kitchen. I was cleaning the kitchen and Carlos uh, came and told me some sad news that we just got. If you guys were following me on Instagram in 2020, then I am hoping that you remember a really special story or a special memory that happened to us. And I'll never forget, it was June 2020 when it happened. Carlos and I were driving. This is when we lived back in uh, Orange County. We were at our townhouse at the time. This was like the, the middle of COVID, like June 2020. I can't really remember what was going on. We were driving and we were at a stop sign. We were making a left and I remember I'm in the passenger seat and I look to my right and I see a dog running. And it was this cute little dog. He was running really fast and Carlos and I were on our way to a appointment and I was like, Carlos, stop the car. And I got out of the car and I started running after him, but he ran really fast cause he's only like, I think he was only like 10 pounds or something. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already know who I'm talking about. So I got out of the car we tried to catch you know the dog and he went into this corner behind uh like a, a parking garage or something there were like there was trash everywhere and there was a little like a u usps like mail bot like mail container and we put him in it and that was the first time that carlos and i had ever run into a stray dog on the street so we really didn't know too much about what we were supposed to do for the time being we named him winston hey Rocky. Hi, baby. For the time being, we named him Winston and we took him to the vet to see if he was microchipped because that's what you're supposed to do when you find a stray dog to find their owner, first of all. We posted it on Ring. We posted it on uh, Facebook. We posted it on Instagram. The microchipped didn't have his name or his information, but it had a phone number. And the vet called that number, but no one answered. And then we just continuously called that number for I think, I think it was like four or five days maybe that we had Winston. So in the meantime, we took Winston to the vet to do a checkup, make sure that, you know, he didn't have any broken legs or anything. And then we took him home. He was extremely matted. So we gave him a bath, but it still wasn't good enough because the vet said that he had been on the street probably for a few months because he was so malnourished and was so mad. So we took him to a groomer and it was so hard to find a groomer at the time. I remember how difficult it was because it was during COVID so a lot of things were closed. And we took him to the groomers and we just kept waiting for the owners to call back and they they never did. And I didn't want to take Winston to a shelter because I, I, I couldn't see the little guy there. But obviously at the time we had four dogs so I, you know, Carlos and I could not take on the responsibility of a fifth dog considering that we were also renting a townhome being you know renters our landlord was already nice enough to let us have four dogs at the time us keeping Winston was not an option which already broke my heart because in that few days that I had him we were so attached to him so when it went so when it came down to it we you know asked everyone in our friends and family group if they could adopt Winston and eventually our little sister Carlos's little sister Kim had a roommate at the time. Her name is Shelly and Shelly was willing to foster Winston and within a few hours she decided that she was going to permanently adopt him for the rest of his life. So the last three years he's been living with Shelly and has been so loved and so cared for and it's just so crazy because a few weeks ago we were just saying how we wanted to go see Winston because he was getting old. When we found him and we took him to the vet he was like 12 I think 12 or 13 so when he passed away yesterday. Sorry, I just
just found out the news. So I'm like really, really emotional. So when we found out he passed away, I think he must have been like 16. Cause when we found him, it was like 12 or 13, I believe. I, I remember feeling so relieved that we found a home for him and it was somebody that we knew so we could always keep in contact. I know that technically Winston wasn't my dog and I'm sure Shelly is just completely heartbroken and going through so much. And if you guys have ever lost a dog, I'm sure you guys understand the feeling. For me, I, you know, I got so attached to Winston when he left to go to Shelly's house permanently. I remember crying so hard. I remember sitting in the living room at our townhouse and I cried so hard. I had never cried that hard before. I was also so grateful that we were able to find him a home. And I'm just heartbroken that we didn't get a chance to say goodbye, but I hope that Winston always remembers Carlos and I. And I'm so thankful for Shelly who took him into her home and cared for him. And he had the best last few years of his life and he wasn't roaming the streets anymore. Even if I only got to know him for like a few days, you know, um, it meant a lot to me because I don't know, I felt like I felt like Carlos and I, you know, maybe changed his life. I don't know. I don't know where he would be, maybe. I think about it all the time, like, what if that day we never had the appointment and we never left the house and we never saw Winston on the street? Like, I don't know where he would have been by now. But I remember he was the best dog. He was so small and he was so attached to me. And we, we like, I don't know. We had like a really, <laughs> a really cool friendship, I guess you could say. I remember the morning that Shelly was picking him up. I woke up and he was cuddled inside my arms. And I remember like looking into his eyes and like just saying sorry that we couldn't keep him. I can only imagine how I'll feel when Rocky passes away. But I wanted to share the story with you guys because I share everything with you guys. But also, I know a lot of you guys were there to witness Winston's journey. <laughs> I'm okay, bye, bye Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I don't know if I'm vlogging tomorrow, to be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe uh, I'll probably clean or something, but if I don't get to see you, I hope you guys have a good Halloween. I love you guys. <sighs>